Okay, why even after using Notion for your business for some time, it still feels unorganized and messy? Well, first, a little bit of background. Notion is used by millions by now. Why could that be? Well, most of the other apps are very rigid, which means that they are built for a particular purpose and we can customize very little about them. But what happens with Notion? It is fully customizable and that's why people start using Notion because they think that they can use it for everything, which is almost true. But this is both a blessing and of course, because most people's workspaces after having used Notion for a while look like this. I don't know about you, I honestly wouldn't like to work here. Everything's out of place, we can't find anything. Things that we don't use are everywhere and there is shit everywhere and it stinks. And this is what makes Notion and your business that's running on it unproductive and lose money every day because of all the time wasted. Okay, Daniel, fine. I know that my Notion is shit. You don't have to tell me more, but why does this happen? And what is more important, how can we avoid it? Let me show you because I have three different ways in which I can help you out. So what does this happen? Okay, so after having consulted more than 50 businesses and even talked to much more people, I started to see some commonalities. And because I was seeing so many things that everybody was doing and that were resulting in chaos in our Notion workspaces, I have been able to condense them into three. The first one is that people start to build their systems in Notion. Let me explain. Let's think of a house construction. I believe that the first thing that you're gonna do it is not laying down bricks when you're constructing a house. You will hire an architect, he will first define everything on paper, and once we make sure that everything that's on the paper makes sense, then we move on to the actual building. Same with Notion. If we don't go through a planning process, we will never have this bird's eye view that allows the architect to put all the pieces in place so they make sense. And we are gonna be taking a lot of design decisions on the spot once we have already built something. I mean, don't feel bad about this. I know why we are doing this. Whenever we download any other app, we just start using it. And it kind of works because their structure is typically very rigid. But what we don't see is that there has been a whole team of people already designing that app before you can get to use it. But that doesn't apply to Notion. Notion just gives us the tools. We are the designers. It is us who have to design our systems first, as those app developers also do, and then we can build on it. But what happens if we don't do that? Okay, an example. I am going to do a competitor analysis on whatever. And since I haven't really thought where to place this, I'm just gonna come over here because I don't know where to put it. So I didn't have my structure ready for this competitor analysis. So what I did, the action that offered me the least friction, just a random page. But now multiply this by all the times in which our system is not ready for something that we are going to do. Our system becomes a mess. So now every time that I take on a new consulting project, the very first thing that I do is to take this tablet and to write everything here, how all the databases are going to be structured, how the workspace is going to be structured, how the members are going to be structured. And once everything is ready, and we iterate on this process until it is, then we start building in Notion. The objective here is to have as many places ready for everything we may be using Notion for. I may create another video on this whole process that I follow in much more detail in the future. So if you don't want to miss out, subscribe to the channel so you get notified. So if you have already built something in Notion and you haven't planned it and you feel that it's quite messy, my recommendation will be take a step back, take pen and paper or whatever digital tool you want and plan it first. Forget about what you have already built, just plan it, which are your needs, how you're going to accommodate your needs into this system. And then either modify what you already have or just start from scratch, sometimes this is easier. Okay, but let me tell you one thing. Planning a workspace is not the panacea. It is not, okay, I have planned it, that's it. No more mess in my life. No, that is not how it works. Another thing that we typically do wrong, it is not really using what we have already built, but instead building something more. Let me explain, because this applies to anything. New pages that we want to add, new properties that we want to add inside of a database. For example, and this happens all the time with my clients, and the client tells me that he wants to prioritize his or her tasks. And what happens here is that we directly go into Notion and create one new select property to assign a priority. But we don't realize that what we're doing is adding an extra step once we create every task to set their priority. And this amounts to so many extra actions instead of maybe just taking a look at the properties that we already have, because maybe 
just by assigning a DO date or due date, it will be enough because we are just telling the people, okay, we need this task done by this date. Maybe we don't even need priorities, just with the date is enough. So this is what I mean. Every time that we have a new need, it is better first to look at what we already have and the commitments that we are already making with the properties that we have to see if that is enough. And even if we are not sure, I will try it first. And if it doesn't work and we really need a priority, okay, let's create the property. Because again, multiply this by the number of times that we're gonna have a new need. If we're always building something for that need, then our system becomes unusable, super complex, and again, messy as hell. But even if we are doing the two past things, we may still have some mess or some chaos in our system. So there's a third thing that we can still do which is a regular workspace cleanup. Okay, what do we do in our homes? We take Sundays and we spend, I don't know, half day cleaning everything. And what do we do? We go to every room, we clean the floor, we see the things that are out of place, we put them in their place, we do a proper cleanup, room by room, the whole space. So we can do the same in Notion. And I will do the same. I will go through all the different pages that we have in our workspace, I don't mean the pages within the databases, okay? So I will go through all the pages and take a look at the things that I don't need anymore. So maybe I just delete them. Things that are out of place, I will try to find them a place. Yeah, basically what you will do at your home. If your workspace is a workspace that tends to be very chaotic very soon, it can be maybe because you are not putting enough measures in place to avoid that, but well, okay. I will do this more often, maybe weekly. If your workspace, for example, mine, doesn't get very messy because it is already like very structured and it has almost everything that you need, maybe you can do this every month or even every quarter. But at least sometimes we need to do this. So to recap, first, designing the workspace and the system before building it. Second, whenever we have a need, try to fulfill this need with the resources and with the setup that we already have. And if not, then and only then we can build something for that. And third, doing a regular cleanup of our workspace. That is it for today, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.